continue with our series of genderless fashion for Pride Month, I'm going to talk about gender neutral fashion and K-pop in part 2 of this video. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about anything and everything related to fashion. Hi, I'm Jody Jan. I worked in the fashion industry for over 30 years for 50 plus brands. I have my own empowerment brand. You can check it out in my bio. Before we start, can you please subscribe and help me grow this channel? Thank you. In recent years, K-pop idols have become brand ambassadors for many luxury brands as style trendsetters. As such, K-pop idols are now known for being at the forefront of genderless fashion. In the way, their newer Western counterparts are starting to embrace genderless fashion as daring. Before we go over the fashion, let me give you a brief history of K-pop for those of you who are not aware of it. K-pop is broken into four generations or four eras starting from 1996 until now. First generation K-pop idols, years active 1996 to 2004. Here are some of the artists. Second generation K-pop idols, years active 2005 to 2012. Here are some of the artists. Took too many shots on me, was like, are you okay? I said, I'm fine. White girls love the white girl, but admittedly she ate to wait in line. We still up all night, we can fuck till daylight. Spent the payload on the J-Mo, saw an angel with no halo. She do everything I say to. Ride me like a rodeo, oh yeah. Put me in a coma, tell some soul stuff. Tell some soul stuff. So fucking deep in the shits, I'm a mess. I'm taking shots, cause there's nothing left. Won't settle for less than a nine over ten. If you pay for my drinks, so I'll pay for your rent. I don't need sleep, put the shit to rest. She like me, cause I do more, say less. Do the same thing today and the next. Ain't no Third generation K pop idols. Years active 2013 to 2019. Here are some of the artists. Fourth generation K-pop idols, years active, 2019 to present. Here are some of the artists. One of the boundaries male K-pop idols are pushing forward harder in recent years is that of gender style fashion. They have proven fashion transcends gender by opting for more androgynous looks or trying out gender swapping trends. And looks fans can't get enough of is male idols in tweed jackets and skirts. While yes, many male idol groups have tried cross-dressing in women's wear in their live performances, few have embraced women's wear as part of their personal style, challenging gender norms with their fashion choices. 
They are female K-pop idols breaking into genderless fashion, often defying the sexy and cutesy styles dictated by the companies, and sometimes to the onslaught of anger from their fans, which I completely do not get. Here are the K-pop idols I want to highlight who really push the boundaries of genderless fashion by either incorporating it into their K-pop idol persona or adopting it into their personal style. Let's start off with Big Bang's G-Dragon. Given that he is a reigning king of fashion, it's no surprise that G-Dragon is one of the first male idols in brace skirts. He's got fashion down so much so that Karl Lagerfeld has him at the shows. Next, we can ask your BTS, who have really embraced gender-neutral fashion into their K-pop idol personas. Whether it's RM, who does not let his skirt diminish his leadership skill of the group, or Jin, who does not let his worldwide shoulders stop him from putting a frilly blouse on, or Sugar, who seems to not care about fashion but still kills it. Then there is J-Hope, who the fandom think is the real fashionista of all K-pop. Then we come to the magnate line which have the fandom and a chokehold with the style. We start with Jimin. Need I say more? Then we go to V. There's a reason why he's the thirst trap of the group. Lastly, we have Jungkook, who at last check have a button fighting for their life with his jacket. The two female K-pop idols who get heavily criticized on their fashion are Mamamoo's Wasa and to anyone's CL which I don't get at all. I can already see 4th generation K-pop idols increasing genderless fashion as a norm. I cannot wait to see the fashion that come from them. If you need genderless fashion ideas, do what the fashion brands are doing, look at K-pop idols for inspiration. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and help me grow. Thank you. Bye.